I mean, it looks really professional. And that's the thing about stencils. What's up you guys? So today's video is very special. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your own stencils for your custom shoes. The reason why today's video is very special is because a lot of people that subscribe to the channel do customs themselves, they're on their own custom journey. So I just wanna show y'all how to make stencils. So you guys, I want you to go get a notebook and a pencil and write down everything I say in this video so you can do this at home yourself. Let's go. So you guys, I have a cool idea is where I'm gonna actually take y'all with me to the store where I get all the stuff from on making stencils, the machine, the vinyl, the transfer tape, and also the board, everything. And then I'm gonna show y'all the prices. I thought it was a cool idea to actually show y'all where I get the stuff from. And I think I'm about to incorporate this more in my videos making like a more vlog type but still like do like what I'm gonna do in the video you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna still show y'all how to make stencils but I'm just going the full blown out and showing y'all where I get all the stuff actually from you know what I'm saying with all that being said enjoy today's video I think I'm talking a little bit too much but with all that being said let's go Guys, we just pulled up to Hobby Lobby. I'm about to go in here, but I cannot, I already know for a fact, I cannot bring this camera in there. So I'm gonna have to just go off the iPhone and I'm gonna show y'all like the prices of everything and how much everything costs and whatnot. All that being said, I got my mask, I got the iPhone. Let's go up in here and I'm gonna show y'all everything that I get to make stencils. Let's go. I found it. So this is the machine that I use right here. It's called Pre-Cut. Explore Air 2. This is this is the machine I use to do my stencils right here. They don't have the prices in here for it, but it's around like 200, yeah, like $200, $200 for that machine. And then you have to get like vinyl. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. I use this vinyl right here. Um, hold on, I'm gonna show you. Removable, removable vinyl, that's it. All different types of vinyl in here. All different types. Look, 50% off. Can't go wrong. Hobby Lobby. And also, you got to use these boards. These boards are where you put the vinyl at. So you got to get the, the pre cut machine. You got to get this. That's the board. And put it on. And then you got to get the vinyl. And then you get the transfer tape if you want that. So, you guys, that's where I get all my stuff from Hobby Lobby. You can also go to Michael's and other arts and crafts stores. So I get a Cree cut, I get the vinyl, and I get the, the card, the board that you put actually in it. So you guys, I'm gonna catch y'all at home. Yeah. So you guys, now I'm gonna show you how to make stencils. Now, with the CreeCut, they're gonna tell you to download a software called CreeCut Design. So this is where we go to right here, and it's gonna show you your projects, and we're gonna start a new project. See, I did Louis Vuitton, that's my favorite one. And that's what I do, you know? And um, Louis Vuitton is like the most popular, one of the most popular designs. And then this is my project, but we're gonna create a new project. That's the thing. I'm gonna show y'all how I really go through all these steps to get to exactly where I wanna get to. All right, so we're gonna open up Firefox. Uh, I need to open up Google Chrome, but Google Chrome ain't working at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, we go to Google Chrome. Oh, I said Google Chrome. We go into Firefox. And then we open up Google. We're gonna be doing a V Loan Custom. I never done, well, I did on Vans, but I never done on Black Air Force One. So, we're going to look up V Loan logo, look up the, I was gonna say seven. Look up the V. So we look up the V, and we go to Images, and we just get it, all right? So, I usually go for a PNG file, if not, then I have to show y'all another way of getting it. So I, I would just get through this one right here. I'm just gonna get it, save image as. Uh, hopefully it's a PNG file. It is a P PNG, I can't even, can't even say it right, PNG. Uh, yeah, replace it. Oh, I didn't even know it was already on my computer. 
Okay, so um, definitely pull it up in pre-cut. We're gonna go new project. And I had to learn this all by myself. So I'm really glad I'm able to show y'all if y'all go get pick up the pre-cut machine and pick up the software. The software is like $10 a month too. So that's not bad at all. Especially if you're trying to sell these uh, stencils as well. Um, so we're gonna go images. And uh, of course, we're gonna have to upload our image. And uh, let me find it here. Uh, insert an image. Okay, that's not, okay, upload. Upload, that's where we go. Okay, so this one's already uploaded. I uploaded it earlier, earlier, earlier. And um, so then we insert the image. Well, no, let me do it. I'm gonna just do it, show y'all the whole thing. So drag and drop a file here, right? So then we go find VLone PNG, right? So we get it, boom, right there. We got it, and you always want to do um, simple. Simple? Yeah, simple. It's not complex. No, complex. You want to do complex. I'm sorry. My apologies. You want to do complex. So you go to complex, and then you want to zoom out. I don't know why it does that at the very beginning. Zoom out, and then you just hit this, right? And then you hit it. You hit both of those parts. And then you hit continue. And then you want to go uh, cut image. That's what you want to go. Cut image, not print, then cut. It's cut image. Then you upload it. And then boom, it's right here, right? So you get this right here. Then you insert the image. You got the image. All right, so this is just showing you how big do you want it to be, right? So we're just going to, definitely going to make it smaller. So I go up here to the size and um, I just make it smaller because I can't do it right here. So I have to go up to the top and size and then make it smaller like that. And then we're gonna put it at the five. We're just gonna put five in here. Uh, no, I'm gonna make it a lot smaller. Probably like a four, maybe like a four. Maybe like a four. I'm trying to think off. Like you have to think, like you have to get the shoe and like think, okay, okay so this is going on the toe part, right? This is going on the, the very toe part. So you gotta think like how big to make this thing, right? So I think this should be fine, honestly. Um, should be like a two. So that should be, that should be straight. That should be straight. I'm gonna double check right before I, um, the printing machine cuts, the crate cut. So then after that, we go to make it. And after we make it, it's gonna give us like a little uh, preview exactly how big it is gonna be on the machine. And then boom, then we go to continue. And this is where the magic happens, you guys. Go to continue, then it's gonna adjust the dial and do that type of stuff. And then that's when we load our paper and then our mat in here. Okay, so we got it. So now we're just gonna insert this right here in there, just like that, you guys. Then we're gonna press this button right here. All right, right here. And that's in there, right there. That's how I do it. And then we go back to the machine and we press and go. Yep, press and go. So now we press and go. And then, hold on, sorry. Then we're gonna hit this button right there and it prepares it right there and then it goes to work look at that that is so cool this is how stencils are made this is how i make my stencils right here and i mean it's just going too 50 percent going and so you guys if you can you can barely see it but that's a v right there and that is how it comes out so now i gotta take some scissors cut around it because it's a very big piece before we put it on the shoe. Okay, now I'm gonna put the stencil on there. I think we did it a little too big, but I think it's gonna work out perfect though. Yeah, I think it's gonna work out perfect. Yeah, we got it on there. And another thing, you wanna get like a heat gun or a blow dryer just to like make this like stick like down. Cause you don't want it to come up while you're painting. That's gonna look bad. You want this to look, look very clean. So I'm gonna get a blow dryer. And, um, and I'm gonna do it that way.
So you guys, now what you wanna do is just paint within the stencil and you really wanna do very light coats here. Um, I kinda overdid it just a little bit, but you wanna do very light coats and then dry in between the coats. Now we're gonna do the same thing with orange that we did with white. We're just gonna paint within the stencil with our orange color to give it that um, V long look. Now we going, keep the same energy. Work on being better when I'm 70. Your drip is just a water spring. You know I drip different, just the seven seas. I deal with life different, make that limit squeeze. We're known for my style and identity. Better bounce back and get the cheddar cheese. I guess that's why they envy me On track, now we going way up Don't be used as easy as a layup Working late, stay up, stay up. Counting all the way up Counting blessings, yeah, you know we pray up Way up, pray up On track, now we going way up Now we going way up Now we going on So you guys, as you can see, as soon as I lifted up the stencil It left like um some white marks And then like some orange marks, but I'm gonna just clean that up. And that's normal too, you guys. So if y'all do this and y'all find that y'all have that same problem, it's normal. Every customizer goes through it. All we do is just clean up the uh, around the edges, around the uh, stencil. And I'm about to do it in five, four, wait, hold on. And there we have it. I cleaned up all the edges around the V and it looks good. I mean, it looks really professional. And that's the thing about stencils. They make the customs look really good, very clean, and very professional. And now, since y'all watched this video, now y'all can do this at home. Y'all can pick y'all up a Cricut and, I said a Cricut, a Cricut cut. <laughs> and y'all can do stencils at home just like these. But yeah, this is clean. I will finish this custom, but I just wanted to show y'all this part, really. This is this is the great part right here. Stay up. Don't be used as easy as a layup. Working late, stay up. Stay up. Counting 